And then I just got into it and I was like pulling out the maddest things. And I was like, <laughs> never say that. <laughs> <laughs> Do not ever. Is this DJ language? Malfoy. Malfoy. We're back. We've done it. All right, we are back, you lot. I know you've missed us and we have missed you. But it's Luke Martin. It's Theo Baker and it's Joe Weller. And pretty much I ended the last episode... Somewhat in the pits of hell. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> the feel, absolute pits. Yeah, I did not feel good at all. And partly coming off the back of the show, the TV show that I was on. But yeah, my head was cloudy. And I, I just want to say, I appreciate you boys in ending it when you did. Because oh. I didn't want to like let everyone down and be, you know, say, oh, can we stop? But that was how I was think, uh, like feeling. So um, yeah, but we're back. I'm feeling like I want to give it a go. Uh, I feel better when we're doing waffling, when I'm talking to you boys. So... Hi. And also, respect, <laughs> respect we uploaded that, by the way, because I did actually have a... Did you, wait, did you think I, I, I wasn't going to... I'm not even joking. You know when, like, oh, yeah, the, gosh, the footage the footage hasn't sent. Well, yeah. I was like... Because well, the footage hadn't sent, but they thought I was trying to not put it out. I'm pretty sure you, you like, messaged me just like, oh, shit, that never happened. <laughs> what, well, do you think I actually was... Did you think I was going to do done that? done it before? Uh, correct. <laughs> yeah, correct. Back, correct. When, correct. back when... But then... You used to edit videos. I used to edit waffling, right? He used, to be, he used, he used to be like, oh, no, no, I come across as a bit of a prick in that one. I'm not going to put that out. It's like, mate. Yeah, I would because, you know, I, <laughs> <laughs> I was very particular with what went out. And I'm not going to lie, off the back of that last episode, I was feeling like, oh, no, they're going to think I'm just all wah, wah, weller again and miserable. But at the end of the day, you boys were right. It was being real. It's how I felt. So let's put it out. Okay, there's no smoke and mirrors on this show. And the people backed it as well in the comments. Did they? I, don't, I haven't looked at the comments. I haven't even looked at it that at was all. Actually, that was actually the first episode I've watched back. Everything. Ever. Yeah, period. we made you, didn't we? <laughs> you made me. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, no. And I, and I enjoyed it. The really? whole response yeah. to that video, bar like the first maybe like 20, 30 minutes of comments, which were like, what the fuck? Why is it only 35 minutes long? Oh, like before they'd watched it. And then every, when people got to the end, all the comments were literally... Very supportive and and backing you and the show 100%. Yeah. yeah. And I can confirm it was a good episode. That is good. Yeah. As long as we're putting out good stuff. I laughed and giggled. Yeah. Because we're not always, uh, you know, that is the thing. I, I feel like a pressure that I always want to make you guys laugh and have a good vibe. You listen to this because, you know, you enjoy having our good chats. But at the end of the day, part of real life you is that you're not always 100%. Sometimes you're in the pits. Yeah. Sometimes you just are. And, you know, the, the past like two weeks since getting back from the show, I have been up and down and not not sure, you know, honey, I'm, I'm really saying you know a lot this time. Oh, who cares? <laughs> but, but, who cares? Um, obviously I've been so very open, like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm on top of my mental health now. So the fact I was back there, I was like, oh no, I've gone backwards. <laughs> but that's the thing. It's a, it is, it's a constant. Exactly. It never goes forever and we all have our struggles. So yeah, we've all been in the pits yeah. recently, so we're all good. Well, you have. I was you pit. cried. I, was like, whoa, 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 I didn't cry. Can I quickly yeah, set the did. scene? I'm not going to mug you off here. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be a dickhead. But so basically, there we are on our WhatsApp private messages. Okay, so you're hearing a secret here. Okay. <laughs> Theo, out of nowhere, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I just. This is, no, this is the thing because that message came through and I was about to be like, well, you idiot, we can't hear anything. And it was just you whimpering. I didn't realize. Wait, always, <laughs> for the first time, like, 15 seconds. You don't... <laughs> wait, wait, on a level, on a level. That was the fourth one I recorded. What are you recording? Wait, why? Were you like, I don't sound sad enough in the other one? No, the other three, the other three I, like, I couldn't actually talk. I was, like, I was whimpering too much. Well, you're doing that thing where you're like, guys, I just wanted to. <laughs> Yeah, so he yeah. was basically like, um, like crying. <laughs> <laughs> at least I wasn't in the, in the street. Everyone was looking. Wait, at you me. were in the street? Oh yeah. I was Dude. like, I was, I was so sad. I like, cause I scooped to the physio. I was so well, sad. Your I, scooter? I was, no, I wasn't scooting. I was like, I couldn't even get on it. I was just walking my scooter, looking like a yeah, and just tears streaming down my face. I'm but but very yeah. important underlying message to that is you know. You were crying. You came to us. You spoke to us. We supported yeah. you. So, so to end the voice note, it was basically, boys, <laughs> I've just found out that I'm injured again and out for three months. And if he doesn't take this time to recuperate now, career over. Bearing in mind, this kid has just bought, well, 
being given a football club. So this was like, you know, yeah, was like, you literally were in the pits here. Every week. I know. And you were so, gassed about that, weren't you? Oh, yeah. No, so you like, were like, obviously, really down. And in some lads' group chats, they maybe would have gone, oh, what a pussy. What a twat. <laughs> but what we've learned is that you need to support one another. Yeah. And that is why this functions so well. And we hope that you learn that is, is a, makes a healthy friendship group is when you do support each other, when you are low and when you're high. Yeah. And you, you know? absolutely can laugh about it. Oh yeah, in, like, in, the, yeah, in, yeah. The, in the future, once oh, you yeah, know you sort of, for it. <laughs> once you've held each other out and you supported, like it's always good to have a laugh. Like I had thing. to send a voice note to obviously the coaches as well, and I was like, what to tell them that you were out? Yeah, and then like, okay, I've done that, and then I, I called my mum, and I was like, oh, and then it all just like came out, and I was like in the pits. But how, how do you feel about it now? Uh, well, that evening I got Domino's, and just like ate my, <laughs> ate my way to sleep, and now I feel okay. I feel fine, guys. I feel fine. <laughs> that is actual shit. It is shit. <laughs> it but is it's shit. okay that But the worst shit. thing is, is that like I just come back from this hip flexor and I'm like, I'm going to be playing in two weeks. And then like he does this test and scan on my groin. He's like, oh, you're yeah. fine. You're fine. But that's the thing. It's like, it's, like, yeah, it's good to, at least you're accepting it and you're not like. Well, you, I went into that physio like, oh, I'm going to get great news. I'll be back in two weeks. And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't be playing this year. Anyways, I'm fine, guys. Honestly, I'm doing all right. Well, just a quick change of topic. <laughs> Bruno. Off camera before you came, me and Luke were having a little chat basically about that like, we, we want you to leave the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, <was sitting, laughs> I saw you getting really nervous then. So I was just like, so, <laughs> so, no, no, no. It was just going to be a chat about contraception. On like using Johnny's. Who would know about that? No, 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 because we had a question basically in. He doesn't know. I won't speak before you, but it's this one big thing about... Taking the risk? Yeah. Do you use a condom? Yes. You do? Yeah, Johnny's not on uh, anything. She's not on anything to protect her from getting pregnant. At the moment. And you make sure you wear a condom. Yeah, it can be hard sometimes. But I can't have, lie. You, have you gone in when she's not... Protected, let's say. Ever? Have you ever had unprotected sex? And yeah, we're, and we're yes, a lot. There's a no, lot. <laughs> not a lot, but like, there's mate, no, it's all right. If it's a lot, then it's a lot. <laughs> it's no, we want to be lot. open here because no, we were having a big discussion because you know, there's the thing about being a role model. I'll oh, do this, do that, but let's be real here. Uh, I wouldn't say a lot, but you know, like sometimes it happens. Yes. Sometimes the. What about you? The Wait, what about you, Luke? Okay, so. I'm gonna have a problem here because my mum is gonna be listening and she's gonna be probably disappointed in what I'm about to say. And rightly so. <laughs> never, never use of protection with my girlfriend. Wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. He never uses a condom. Wait, 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 wait. wait in Constantly like Constantly tempting fate. But wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a second. You, you, she's never been like on the pill. She has been previously, but for, for various reasons, there's, there's always something like, you know Excuses. what happens? You know, how you know how long has she not girl? been on the pill? Oh, like, well, obviously, this is our second coming, so to speak. And we've been together, like, over two years again now. And, yeah, the whole time. So two years plus, they are tempting wow, fate I don't massively. But, and has there ever been a scare? How many scares? Yeah, yeah, we've question. had not, not many, not many scares. What, what do you mean many? What's it, abortions? What are no, we talking? No, 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 no. Oh, never okay. That. Has she had an ne abortion? Never, never, never. All we've, all we've had is a the odd pregnancy test. And and I can count that definitely on one hand, not right. using all my fingers. And and were they failed, like negative? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're and, all negative. And was it scary when she was like peeing on yeah, it? Yeah, obviously that because that is the longest minute of your life. While so you're why waiting. don't you like? Use why protection? don't we? Why don't you use protection? Yeah. Well, so there's this common sort of. It's not a misconception. This common conception that using a condom doesn't feel as good. And th I have to say that is fact. And not, is but not fact. only that, it I would add that it also can like really, really ruin the moment. No, it can. It can. And, <laughs> and I don't want to be irresponsible in saying, don't do it. Look, I take the risk with my girlfriend that I trust my pullout game. I know it, I know it's not necessarily your pullout game can be strong. You can have this pre so when, whatever. where do you spaff? I mean, I'm not gonna you go into details as to where I deposit. Obviously not inside <laughs> her. On the back. Jesus, like, yeah, but yeah, are, basically the reason why I wanted to touch on this as well is that, you know, it is fact. 
it doesn't feel as good and it does kill the moment. It, it very much. But if you have a that. child and you're not ready, imagine that like, because a girl, think, mate, you're very famous, very popular. <laughs> Say you didn't have a girlfriend. Yeah. Or maybe even if you do. She may think, oh, I can, I can get a nice life or something. She wants to have your kid, can tell you she's on the pill. Fucking hell, that And it's like that, that w- having wanting to have great sex mixed with actual, like, your life will be ruined, and, or not ruined, not ruined, I don't mean ruined, but as in, like, changed forever, weighing that up. That indicates to me, are you almost okay with if you did end up getting her pregnant? So that's what I was going to ask. I'm at, at this stage of my life, right now, if it were to happen, and I do not want, I do not want a child, but if it were to happen, I would accept it, and I it wouldn't feel like he's it, ready for a kid. It's ruined my life. He's ready for a kid. Whose life it would ruin is my dad's because oh. I can't afford a kid. <laughs> yeah, you can. You're waffling mafia now. No, no, no. So this is this is my point. It's it's irresponsible. Uh, but I mean, I did, wait. So you're ready it. for a child? You're ready for like parenthood? Oh, what the fuck is that? That's a wasp! No! Get that out of my building! Get it out! Fuck off! No, I don't want that in here. Leave. Wait, wait, right, where's the raid? No, 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 just, wait, wait. No, this is, this is scaring me. This is scaring me. I don't want this. <laughs> I do. Shouldn't he be sleeping? Yeah, yeah, get out. How? It's winter. Yeah, apart from the fact, why are you in my property? <laughs> get out of my building. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Your shit. Get out now. Why is it being Well, that's coming for my head. I'll go for the window. <laughs> get out. Get out now. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. I'm all alive. He's <laughs> killing a wasp, mate. That needs to die immediately. <laughs> right, where's the raid? Oh, fuck. It's on a no, line. it's stuck. Is it stuck? It's stuck on a spider's web. Actually, oh, you clart it with this. Oh, it is. Yeah, Look, if I spray anywhere near the electrics, the oh electrics my God, wait, the spider's going to eat it. Oh, yeah, the spider's, spider's going, going through it. we got to fight. Oh, I've got to fight. Wait, the spider's I'm turning the electrics off. Oh, wait, no, let, no, him Joe, eat it. let the spider eat it. No. Yeah, that's, this is going to be a battle. Why are we watching a battle? Why is raised this? No! 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 Get no! I did spray it though, did you? Yeah. We anyway. were uh, right. So, uh, well, <laughs> don't care that. What are we talking about? <laughs> um, how, I, how how Luke's ready for parenthood? I, yeah, no, I that, that's, enjoys that's, that's not thing. what I'm saying. Basically, I'm not ready for parenthood. <sighs> but I'm but saying if it were to happen, I I feel comfortable doing it because. What well, I got a question. I I feel like I am. Do you sort of love the fact you're tempting fate? No, 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 no. It's definitely not an excitement thing. And I think... But well, surely if you're having sex like regularly, it's bound to happen pre coming that. No, and this is the thing. This is why I don't, I don't want to encourage it. I'm not saying... Because, right, what I also want to talk about in relation to this is when you were younger, when we were all younger, and you went on a night out, because this is adding another risk now. You go on a night out and you link up with a bird. Are you wrapping up? Because now, now you have the risk of STDs. Because well, I, I suppose, don't have that there, I suppose there's a obviously. difference between you and a one night stand, which is unprotected. Of course, because you're in a healthy relationship that's ready for a child. No, not <laughs> not ready. For but a as in, child. like tempting fate with like what's out and about on a town is obviously that is sketchy because there could be all sorts things like chlamydia, all of that. They are very common, um, and yeah, like it's dodgy because the sex. Isn't as good when you're wrapping up, and also especially. But if you're it's drunk. like, do you like you know? And when you're drunk, it's easier to be like, oh, oh it's easier to be like, know. fuck it, let's just do it. But just anyways, me. let's know. Do you wrap up? Do you take safety seriously? Obviously, as role models, we'd like to say we're perfect, but we're not. Yeah, we're no. But so, if you can wrap up, do wrap up. Yeah, we'd always advise it. But anyways, I do actually want to relate this to a very interesting email we've had in with the title. <laughs> Joseph Martin Weller scrambled my skull. Right? Goes, <laughs> Who's this goes, been written in by? Goes, all right, boys. I hope you're well. Got a great conundrum for you today. I'm in my car with this girl, and we're getting down to business, right? In the car. Right, this is vile. My fingers are getting stinky. Apologies. <laughs> and she's feeling around my cock area. The only problem is, I'm struggling to get a rod on, and all I can think about is Joe. Talking, ab- <laughs> talking about him getting anxious and not being able to perform. You're in his head. Joe Weller was living rent-free in <laughs> my skull and preventing me from getting hard. Are you actually living? Any tips on how to avoid such 
floppy cock occasions. Oh. Also, can Joe tell us his fingering tutorial? Oh, as I would like to learn how to make a girl come three times in ten minutes. I wonder why you're in his head. You fucking... But this was an interesting one because... So, up until then, right, he may have never have, have had performance anxiety. But after hearing me, have I planted a seed in his head which has now made him oh. an anxious performance anxiety wreck? Yeah. <laughs> Bruno, he's now like super overthinking it because he's thinking of me, mate. When he's getting with a girl, yeah. But this what is a hundred percent a thing. How how what many people done? has this happened to where they've how never we, been oh. in a situation where they need to get a rock on? <laughs> Don't feed that fucking what? gimp. What? Wait, can I say that? What are you calling me a gimp? Well, no, because I thought you were gonna say like, how many people now think of Joe and then no, like, no, 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 no. Listen to him. Not, listen to him. Not, but how many people are now in that position where they've never had to sort of, you know, worry about getting a rock on before. And now all of a sudden they've got this this thing inside their head where they're like, wow, performance anxiety is real. And what if it doesn't work? Because all it takes, right, I get, and it's a weird analogy. I get this thing where I can't sleep on my own, but I'll be tired, but I'll tell myself through the day that because you're on your own, you're not going to sleep. Wait, what? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, And so I it, get that. So it's, it's that, similar. Yeah, it's that thing of like your thoughts dictate how you feel, which dictates how you act. Wait, listen on that. Your yeah. thoughts, thoughts, feel, feeling, and actions. Yeah. So if you start thinking, oh wait, what if Joe Weller said about this thing about performance anxiety? What? I hope it doesn't happen to me. Yeah. Just Boom. Boom. And now, and then that's what that's what happened to me back in day dot, mate. I'd have this great vision of, oh, I can't wait to make love. <sighs> Do I have a great sexual partner in chemistry? <laughs> Right? Wait, who told you about this? Listen, things? and then I would think, oh, God, I hope I don't fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> hope I don't completely, in head. Yeah, <laughs> hope I don't totally fuck this and have to tell the boys that I absolutely <laughs> ruined it. Yeah, you're living that, right, yeah. yeah, so that's all it is. And now this young boy, he's got the same thing. But it's also, if you're quite a creative individual, <laughs> and quite like, intelligent. <laughs> It happens more if you're really intelligent. So you're living rent-free in your own head and now other people's heads. <laughs> yeah. Fucking fantastic. I'm just ruining the world, mate. <laughs> no, but that's basically what it but is. It's funny how the issue wasn't there. No, but you don't know if it was inevitably going to be there because there are many individuals that are quite like this, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, actually, because people would have Get suffered... closer to your mic. Sorry. And bring it nearer you. People would have suffered with different like issues and problems yes. back in the day and they wouldn't have a name to it. So just, they would have thought it's just normal normal life. But now it's turned into depression, performance anxiety, that sort of stuff. So before yeah. we gave it a label, it was just life. Yeah, well, but I, I think, like, is this, is this guy saying that, like, I'm under the impression that he didn't have this problem and now Well has started talking about performance anxiety. And all he can think about now. And that's all he can think about. But that is 100% a real thing where you start to worry about... And maybe this, you know, it's like the same as when you're performing in front of a big stage. You know, yeah. there's so much pressure on the fact that you have to do it. Yeah. You really do and overthink then, it. Yeah. And it's like, it. the more it's in my head that, oh my God, I've got past experiences of fucking That's it the up. That is the it worst. adds to it. It adds to it. So yeah, mate, it's like that once those seeds are planted in, in your head, it's difficult to um, overcome them. <laughs> oh no. Well, you just got to have yeah, a bit of different perspective yeah, wait, so on it. But... Advice? <laughs> so yeah. my advice is this, right? Don't, now. Nah. Does he, does he specify whether he likes this girl? Because I'm going to be honest here. I'm going to be very honest. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I, I've been in a car with a girl <laughs> that I, uh, on paper, fucking fit. I fancied her, but it was very much purely sexual. Doesn't uh, mm, wait, so, no, even good banter. Well, I'd get, no, 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 I'm going to be honest here, but... <laughs> Stop saying you're gonna be there's, honest. There's, you know, like you get boners when you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get excited by the conversation. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm so I, happy talking no, to you. I've got a boner. <laughs> no, you know, like the flanter all day long. Oh, so you're getting blue balls during the day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah so I'd be balls. like, oh yeah, I definitely fancy her, and this is great. However, um, <laughs> this was years ago, by the way. <laughs> <This was years laughs> ago. <laughs> It was, it no was one you. asked, mate. <laughs> it was fucking ages ago. No, as he was. The one. It was. It was. Why are you kicking me under the table? What? No. Listen. So this. So basically, there I am. Peace, Haven. No, no, no. I can't really say that. Age seventeen. 
Um, oh, I know who this is. No, you know. <laughs> right. Um, so there we are in the car. And she flops her boobs. <laughs> Wait, wait. I just don't know it. Why, <laughs> Sorry, wait, why, why no, can't no. I say it like that? <laughs> Flop the boobs out. What about no, like, this is vile. This is, I don't know. I'm not going to... No, you have to finish it. You okay, have to okay. finish it. So, yeah, and I'm like, well, this should be really turning me on. But it just intimidated me. <laughs> <laughs> it made me terrified. I was, I was scared. I was like, oh, you're confident. But at that point, I was really not confident in myself. <laughs> so, uh, instead of making me, like, get in, turned on, I was just... Oh, oh <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so we kissed loads, but then I, I just, I got really scared. And this is what I was like when I was a bit younger. I, getting in that situation would produce loads of anxiety with, within me and those sexual loving uh, uh, feelings would not come through. So what I'll say to this young boy is focus on finding someone that you really do connect with in a way that really relaxes you. Because if you're not relaxed, you're probably going to have this performance anxiety issue. Because the second that stress and anxiety is going around, it's shutting off un unvital functions like sex, feeling hungry, things like that. It just it shuts so things you down. You need to feel, feel comfortable. Yeah, with you, your need to, you need to be relaxed in that way where it's not like oh shit, I'm intimidated. I'm well, trying to. So what what we're saying here is ultimately you saying you don't think he's fully relaxed with this girl, and yeah. you you popping into his head is just a byproduct of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Re not the result yeah. of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of interest. Was this girl for you, like, older? No. Younger? I don't know. I don't even no, know how old no, she is. I think she's our age. Hmm. Do you not know who we're on about? Give me the initials. Uh, oh, no, we, we can't. No there chance. are reasons that we can't. Right, anyways, but that was an interesting one. I just I just want to know, Am I? do I pop into it, or do we pop into any of your heads Me. when you're now... Uh, in you know, going into sexual encounters because we do actually get a lot of emails where people say, oh, yeah, you, you know, on. it was 2 a.m. I was with this girl. Start thinking about Theo. And when it's, he said about, you know, I've said, you know, so much in this episode. <laughs> but also people get turned on, listen to the podcast. Yeah, that was another thing. I think we could, did we cover that in yeah, the, yeah, in the yeah, last yeah, one? We have, we have yeah. spoken about that. It was interesting anyway. Um, but guys, interrupting quickly for this sponsored commercial break. Beluga. <laughs> Beluga. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is what Did you said. hear that? Did you hear that? That's your moose asking for Manscaped. Woo! Obviously, our friends at Manscaped, the greatest ball cutting device ever, um, have yet again sponsored Waffling. So, Malfoy, what does this Manscaped engineering system provide for you? Well, it provides the greatest ball hair trimmer ever created, the lawnmower. 3.0. And it's waterproof. It includes an LED light so you can see where it's dark. The crevices. Where the sun doesn't shine. <laughs> and it's made with advanced skin safe technology, which reduces nicks and cuts on your delicates. Mm. Ideal. Which we have all personally verified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It works. Not only that, mate, it comes with crop preserver, which is basically like ball deodorant. Yeah, and the crop reviver, <laughs> which is ball toning spray. Both super practical and they smell great too. I'm not even joking. Yes. I actually use it on the reg. You use it on the reg? It actually smells nice. And as you'll learn from this episode, you want to keep down there. Clean. Yeah, you really do. Yeah. Like honestly, like a bad hygiene, bad smell, it's, it can ruin a lot of things. Mm. And you want to be good, like nicely trimmed. Not only that, you also can get the Manscaped box of briefs that have optimal temperature control with their crop cooling technology while keeping your pride and joy supported. The waistband is also super elastic to reduce chafing, rubbing. Plus, when your girl sees this logo, she knows she's got a real Manscaped man. Wow. Well, get 20% off through us. Okay. And free shipping. And free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash waffling. That is manscaped.com slash waffling. The link is in the description. Enjoy. Get your 20% off. Now let's continue the show. Now, next topic, right? Would you say that you are controlled by your phone? Oh, oh that, that thing actually dictates your life. Yes. Yeah? Yes. What would you say, Luke? Well... Yes or no at this point, mate? What? Uh, no is what I like no? to think. Okay, okay. Well, I... I'm doing a, a very you here. I watched this documentary. <laughs> but aside from the documentary, it's called The Social Dilemma. If you've watched it, let me know. But basically, it shows how your phone, right, and the people on social media have literally completely gone absolutely scientific with making this device completely dictate you so that they can essentially sell you to advertisers. 
Right, so from literally the color scheme of Instagram is made in a way that keeps you on there. The way the whole algorithm, the algorithm, what it shows you, how long you spend looking at a certain genre of photo or things like that, it's all made to keep you on there so they can keep selling adverts to you, right? How often throughout the day do you feel like, I want to look at my phone, I want to look at my phone? Because they've got it in a way that is like in the fucking casino when it's like going, doing the what, was it? Pool and you may get a yeah, well, that, like slot machine. It makes yeah, you like slot keep machine. You want you want to keep because you may get that dopamine hit. You yes. may get that thing I that you want. Do this, I'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You look at your phone. Yeah, it, that honestly, I'm and that's, doing this. Yeah, and honestly, like this thing, like for me, it's so toxic when I'm just endlessly scrolling. I genuinely would say a large reason for like that any mental health or like doubting myself issues that I've had come to. For me, like scrolling through those fucking things so so much, and I end up just comparing myself and feeling like the world's so big and I'm so small, and what? it's fucking shit. People, what? get rid of the phone, mate. Let's all get rid of it. Well, there's there's no coincidence that <laughs> since the start of modern technology and mobile phones, anxiety and depression rates have skyrocketed. Yeah, and it's even things like e eating disorders, they've all oh, like, yeah. gone yeah, through the roof. Like, it doesn't. What does it actually do for you? Like, like, imagine, it, like it doesn't. Uh, think it, about oh. think about the feeling when you lose your phone. Yeah. Oh like, my god. We are Cybertrons. Yeah. Cybertron? And, it, and it's the way that it is. Like these people at Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, they openly be like, "Yeah, we know what we're doing. We know that we're literally ruining the world." Like they fucking oh, too and, much money though. Yeah, yeah, and all of that, and and things like TikTok. Apart from the fact that's porn. Yeah, soft we, porn. We've, we've discussed this, and it's young girls. No, yeah. no, not not on here, as in private. Yeah, because like, basically, basically, there was I was I had a meeting with a guy guy recently, and his kids were there. His nine year old was doing the WAP dance, that the wet ass pussy dance. Yeah, for TikTok. It, did the he, pa did the parents don't know what it is. The parents don't know what that all means. And I'm just like, this fuck, that's a, ch a young, young child doing this. And they, like, TikTok, there's no filter either. Well, and also TikTok gives you what you want to see. Yeah. Whatever you scroll, scroll Mate, through. Literally, like, nonces can have free access. Yeah. Which, that's what it is. Like, my TikTok is just fucking dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is it really, mate? It's literal dogs. Like, just, like, cute dogs. Yeah. But it's, TikTok's really bad. I've actually come to realise it. Like, I'm actually, yeah. I'll go to bed at 12. I'll just... I just got my phone, you yeah. know, like the yeah, last yeah, browse before yeah. you go to bed. No, yeah, Next thing you know, it's an hour, yeah, half it's an hour. Worst. Honestly, it's actual do, honestly. And this is the thing as well, right? These things are beneficial when they're used as tools. Like for this. Right, yeah, so we're using it as a tool to operate the sliding camera over there. But when they start being like pacifiers, i.e. your brain like wants it, it's like literally a pacifier to, to occupy your brain that's when it's dodgy and because you're subconsciously, you're, you're comparing yourself and these young people that are getting onto it too early, like I urge you so much, just try and fucking put it down. Like it will save you right. long term. But at the same Seriously. time, also 100%. for people like us as well, I think we can get, a, a, maybe we give the excuse to ourselves that, oh, it's work. Or but like I, we need it. Like we do need it for work, but. But consciously you need to make an effort now yeah. because I'm only going to use it like that for work when it's a tool. I like I in the past three days since I've watched that documentary, I've only gone on it for messages, and then I went on Twitter before this show to research relevant what? topics. Let's do right now. I know what you're going to say. I was about to say what? The same. What? Oh, what? So bad. What like, is it, mate? What is it? Your screen, screen time. time. Your screen time. No, no, because it actually makes you feel sick. Okay, go on it. Go on it. Go on it. We're all going to look at our screen time. Everyone, join in right now if no, you want I'm to. I'm feeling bad. Yeah, but okay. Go now. Go comment your screen time. Hang on. Comment your now. screen time right now. You have to. For me, what's you your daily average? Go. Oh my days. Okay. Can I just just say the daily average? Six and a half hours, but oh my god, I thought mine listen, was bad. No, no, but 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 five hours of it is Google Maps. Okay, what? So, so actually, only... that's not that bad. How often are you driving? I've done five hours of driving. Today. Wait, over over the last three days, you know it says at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, how, like, what's your total screen time? It says just here. Yeah. Like mine's seventeen hours, eleven minutes, and eight hours. Total screen time in three days. Yeah. Is that your total? Yeah, what's your total screen time in the last three days? 20 everyone, hours. Everyone look at the 20 hours. But that is minus eight hours of Google Maps. So... 12? 12. What's yours? 17, 11. Mine's down. Fuck. Mine's 13, 26. How, how, so I got the, hours. Technically, I, how, I much, how much is social, social networking? Social networking for me is five hours, 45. It's my social networking, four hours, 41. 
eight hours thirty. Fuck eight hell, hours. Man. That's terrible, isn't it? Because that's just in the poison. past three Fuck, days. Fair, mine's down twenty percent from last week. Yeah, mine's down forty percent from last week. Oh my god! So yeah, this show really has that's had an impact. Bloody hell! Well, I was down forty you hours. Cut I get cucked because yeah, like my so math. my social uh, networking for today is less than an hour, less than an hour. And yeah, that's sick. That's, see, that's why I want to oh, keep mate, it less than an hour. That's mine's, fine. Mine's thirty-one minutes, but I have been playing golf all day, so it's a cheat day. Yeah, I've been a massive golf player. No, it is, um, it is mad, and I think any young person oh. that is that is listening. On what? 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 Monday. Near yeah, the mic. Nine hours on Monday. Nine on, hours on social networking. Now two and a half hours, or three hours on social networking. Two and a half hours Google Maps. Two hours creativity. Dodgy. What was that? Just looking at YouTube numbers. Probably, yeah. Do you see Logan Paul is potentially fighting Floyd Mayweather? Wait, uh, I saw it put in a group chat, but I have no idea so where. It's just I've not been on my phone all day. Yeah, so it's just broken on Twitter that apparently Logan Paul is going to fight Floyd Mayweather. Surely not. Now, obviously, <laughs> we, we all know. <laughs> well, we all know that, you know, Keemstar has said, this oh, is God. no joke. Some boxing insider just told me. So is Keemstar reliable? I don't know. However, apparently this is in the talks. Obviously, we all know that Lo Logan Paul would get battered, and that's what all the memes are right now. Um, but oh, Logan but does want to be the biggest superstar that's doing the next big thing. And surely this, this is, is that. just a win-win no matter what. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what the majority of boxing, I mean, I think it actually is. It's like, even a win for Floyd. Well, yeah, I mean, he was going to get a lot of money from it. It'll be big, even even if we all oh, know what the result's going to be. I think that'll be sick. He'll die in like 30 seconds. Well, this is the would thing. Would he? I don't think Logan Paul would land a punch, but would Floyd Mayweather be able to knock out a 200-pound guy? How tall guy? is Floyd Mayweather? Mayweather's going to be like, what, 5'7"? So, like, five, slightly, six, slightly, five, taller, five, slightly taller than you. Wait, wait, so slightly taller than you. I... <laughs> 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 Dead banner, but... Look, yeah, I think... I, what I find, like, most interesting about this is how many times have we gone over YouTube boxing... Like whatever, Wait. like whoever the parties are, we're always like, nah, it's, it's dead, it's done now. It's Wait, done now. so potentially, little boy Theo has just made you started it. Floyd Mayweather fight. Yes, Logan. Yeah, yeah. this is the fight fight you have. money. Yeah, surely from that we've got to get commission, mate. Wait, this, Wait, this, on is, level, this like, is this is Keem Star's uh, words. Wait, one second. New drama alert's being uploaded right now. It's happening. It's Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul. I confirmed. I just confirmed it. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, there you go. <laughs> He's confirmed. It's it. official. But um, yeah, Wait. I mean, that would be mental. And, and I, I hope that I'm commentating. I was going to say, will you get us flights? And oh, tickets? surely Logan. Let, oh. If it's on Sky Sports, oh, I, I'm confident I will commentate. Can I be ringside? Oh, I'll have a word. Like, can I do something this time? Yeah. Like, please. Do you want to, though? Yeah. Did you? Because. Yeah. Do you, you want to be interviewed? Because remember, I, I interviewed you last time. I wasn't ready for it, I don't think. Yeah. But now, yeah, I'm very much ready for that. Yeah, I'd be gas doing that. I think that would be sick. But like, Logan, like, obviously, can I have some money? <laughs> um, speaking of Logan, 6 9 was on his podcast. I'd, I've literally just finished it. What did you think of that? You said, because I've been putting off Go watching. Go on, what? You, what? I've been putting off watching this. Yeah. Since you said, like, it was like a shouting contest. Right, here he goes. Wait, what? I didn't say it was a shouting contest. I said 6 9 was like, no, 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 no. Every yeah. time they wanted to say an opinion. That is true. I actually thought it was a really good podcast. Didn't say it wasn't a good podcast. Okay, there you go. That is also true, but... It was a sick podcast. It was good, and but did you watch it or did you listen to it? I listened to it. Classic. Because if you watched it, you would have seen, bear in mind, this is Logan's podcast. This is theirs. Didn't, he didn't speak much. And they, you can see... The almost like six nines aura. It must have just been intimidating. His demeanor must have been like because they were very much listening. And when they, they did try to butt in, they speak very quickly because they were trying to say because you know before he, he interrupted say, them, he? yeah, he would always like talk over them and stuff. And I found that quite interesting. And it brings me on to a, like a very interesting point that I've been thinking of recently, and that is about people's energy. Right, this is I'm going on a mad one here. Not little love, not conspiracy, but I, it's just a, it, it's it's a it's a thought that I've been having because. Without saying something, you give off an energy that people receive. What is my energy? I think, well, I, I, harmless. Like, I wouldn't say it's a dodgy, was, intimidating thing. Harmless. Way. Harmless, this, this I'd say. Energy, is, it sort, is it sort of like, is it not just a presumption? Uh, no, well, I, I'd say, like, literally from just looking at someone, being around them, I can sort of feel whether they're 
genuine or whether they they've got an altered oh, okay, ulterior yeah, yeah. motives yeah, yeah, or I get you, I get you, I get or you. if they you know have got a good heart or if they're a bit flaky you know i feel like without saying stuff that that can be said and that or that can be picked up or is that do you guys feel that or do you not no i think i do yeah 100 percent. but also when you know what someone's done in their career, so say you do have this preconception of them, say for example, when me and Luke, we interviewed Steven Gerrard for the first time, do you remember when he walked in the room? Yeah, he well, walked in the room and the whole, whole place went, went silent. silent. And you could sense, everyone was like sensing his, like you didn't even know, you didn't even have to see him walk in to right. know he was in the room. Right. Because the whole environment so it was changed. Like his aura was like mad. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. where his, his reputation, what people know about him, how they've con connected yeah, yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. How he's connected to them in their lives, maybe yeah, that would be a thing. But so, I'm talking more from like, say, you know, when when you're with you? new people, oh. or you meet people for the first time. I'm thinking more like that sort of thing. So someone you don't know, and how how you receive All them. Because right, you often have this with um, girls, don't you? Like we'll go somewhere. Let's let's just say, for example, we go to Starbucks, and there'll be someone behind the <sighs> bar who, no, 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 who to <sighs> our to our eyes, to say like me and Theo is a four out of 10. And that's fair because, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Everyone is allowed an opinion, right? But Joe will be like, oh my gosh, she was so attractive. And you would admit that it's not based on how she looks. It is based on the the, the, the vibe, vibe you got off her. You'd be like, wow, like literally. No, I do feel you on that. I always no, I absolutely yeah, feel like, So basically, yeah, what I've, if you put it into the girl sense, I've realized that, you know, looks are one thing, but that energy that you get from probably like, I don't know if it's eye contact or what, but you feel something and that it's that that is like the exciting, like the good feeling. Like when we were in Brighton the other day, when we were at uh, lunch. Yeah. Oh, what, the waitress? The waitress, yeah. And you're like, whoa, yeah. she's incredible. I Moons can feel this energy with us. Maybe I'm going to wait until she finishes work. <laughs> but yeah, no, you no, did, you did. Yeah, you did. I'm going to wait till she finishes work at 11. <laughs> Yeah, but, well, you found out she yeah, was working. You, you asked her what time she <laughs> You asked her. No, I didn't. I didn't ask her. Well, I definitely wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, no, no, I think that is totally a thing. But yeah, it, it made me think, like, is it is everyone sort of like that? Or is that sort of, I don't know, where... Am I just a weirdo? No, no, not people. that. None of that bollocks. Just more of like, do I have a superpower? <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, so was this... <laughs> oh, was, was this, like, obviously you noticed this while watching... Uh, the video was it not more so you were reading the situation in the room i.e there was mike and logan who are naturally or normally two very sort of like commanding guys you know you see them dictate a podcast and it yeah it's fine and now all of a sudden they've got in no uncertain terms a criminal yeah in the room with them but not someone who that. has committed armed robbery uh he beat up his girlfriend beat up his girlfriend openly admitted it he Film sexual encounters with a Child, minor. yeah. But not only that as well, he's a huge, huge celebrity. Yeah, there is. And he's got 10 bodyguards just there so as well. Giant it's yeah, naturally intimidating, but I'm saying that, that yeah, like, I don't know. I just I'd like the idea that I just, I, for me, it's part of that thing of like, are people's energy different? Can someone's demeanour come across as well, they yeah. are more alpha, like as in makes you want to be more submissive? <laughs> I was going to say, even your energy dictates this podcast. What are you talking about, Theo? Like when you're like a alpha what? and like make me submit to you, yeah. it works excellently. But when you're like when a timid I'm, little, when I'm timid and I need your, I need boy. your energy. Sometimes I can do it. I've done it once. Yes. <laughs> once. No, you, you can. Usually, but usually, when you're timid, I'm, I'm like, because we have filmed. We filmed. We've, that's what I'm saying as well, though, because. I notice that as in when I my energy, whatever my energy is, I feel like it does affect whatever room I'm in. As in, if I'm around the dinner table with my family and I'm feeling off, which I have felt for the past two weeks, the chat's dead. Everyone's you can. It's literally you can feel it. When I'm all right in good spirits, they're all like fucking on it as well. Mm. And it's I'm like, oh, do certain people give off energy stronger than others? For example, maybe that's how I connect with viewers down the lens. Maybe does it transmit literally down the lens? Yeah, yeah. How are you feeling me right now? Mm. My energy is it within you? Oh yeah. But this is this is we've filmed episodes uh, yes. that haven't gone out based on the fact that you're sort of timid, not, not sort of there. Like yeah. like, and this is where it comes down to the point where I always say 
well, mate, it's your show. You're the host of the show. It Great does. Show. It does my depend show. on you. Your channel, my show. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. So if you don't show up. It, it, the, the show doesn't really show up and you know like you say yeah maybe that just is your your aura i mean you were always sort of like back in school like i guess the one, of, one of the like the leaders so to really speak. the leader no but the you leader. obviously of your groups the yeah, leader yeah. no no <laughs> <My but ego. laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> no, how, like, how like you have in a group maybe like you have the leaders who yeah yeah, sure. and who who was your um like leader comp- like you know your arch enemy leader <laughs> the That's rival the arch rival, enemy the rival leader of your group there's always two alphas aren't there of the group what, what are you trying to say <laughs> Ollie Edwards <laughs> Ollie Edwards <laughs> yeah you both were two alphas yeah there's always leadership well, we weren't battles. competing and I don't I don't understand this it's always been like a thing of like battle of the leaders yeah it was <laughs> yeah, always it has that been. it's been that since school. <laughs> Wankers. <laughs> Anyways, right. Now, guys, just interrupting for one more commercial break. We love the guys at ExpressVPN. And once again, they have sponsored this great podcast. So, Malfoy, what does ExpressVPN provide for these wonderful people? Well, as we know, there are tons of VPNs out there. Yes. Okay, our favourite is, of course, ExpressVPN. Express we VPN. all use it all the time. And I can say, without a shadow of a doubt, ExpressVPN is the best one out there. And why is that? Well, ExpressVPN does not log your data. Lots of really cheap or free VPNs make money by selling your data to ad companies. ExpressVPN developed a technology called Trusted Server that makes it possible for their servers to log any of your info. Yeah. Second is speed. I've tried lots of VPNs in the past. Many slow your connection down or make your device sluggish. Boys, I want to interrupt here because we don't I read. got a bit sad about this and I tested two VPNs next to each other. One unnamed, one ExpressVPN, and it was much quicker. Well, yeah, basically ExpressVPN, you need it when you're wanting to hide what you're doing, you know, you may want to watch shows that are around the world and all these different things. And it does require a lot of internet and all of that. So if, you're, you, if you haven't got a good one, then it's going to be rubbish. I used it in Greece to watch Netflix UK. There you, there go. you go, exactly. And th- here we go. The last thing that really sets ExpressVPN apart from the other VPNs is how easy it is to use. Unlike other VPNs, you don't have to input uh, or program anything. You just fire up the app and click one button to connect. It's so easy, even your grandparents could use it. Mate, Eve, I have it on my phone, my laptop, and my TV. All right, so easy. You literally click on. <laughs> Mate, That's it, and it works. As well, it is actually r- rated the number one VPN in the world. Doesn't surprise me. Multiple big big websites. So there we go. Wait, so what are we offering? So what we are offering is three months free on a one-year package. So you get three extra months completely free with us boys at expressvpn.com slash waffling. That is expressvpn.com slash waffling. Now let's get back into the show. Speaking of two blokes that have been up to no good, <coughs> Phil Foden and Mason Greenwood, obviously uh, this week, no, nah, it wasn't this week, but they basically represent an England football team. They organise to get two Icelandic babes round. <laughs> Whereas during COVID, they're under strict guidelines to not do such thing, but they do it. How do you feel about this? They're both 18 and 20 years old. Oh, so, would you have done the same? This is so, uh, no, I would not have done the same, but this is so peak because... Could you have done the same? Yeah, obviously. This is peak because... Grand a week. <laughs> this is peak because they let themselves down and the national side down by doing by doing this yeah. they've been told not to do this but they've done it is it going to affect their career moving forward no when Moan. People, <laughs> people are saying like oh their career in english football is done <laughs> they're never going to make another appearance mate mm-hmm. greenwood and foden are two of the highest rated hot prospects of english football yeah. they're going to be england legends i know this is just a dent. Do you think this relates to YouTubers at all? I.e., they're meant to be role models. They're not meant to be slags. Who said anything about slags? <laughs> no, but it's in, <laughs> it's in. They're not meant to just fuck about. What? This is what I'm going to say at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Greenwood and Foden are 18 and 20. Mm. You know, Foden's got a wife and kids. Yeah, this was Green- that, that was an issue. Why? Yeah, no, he hasn't. He's it's got the, he's wait, got a girlfriend remember, and a kid but, with her. But remember, this football Which land. Is football issue. land is completely different. Like Sterling had a kid at 14 or something. Yeah, it's like completely yeah. Greenwood, 18 year old lad. You, he obviously wants the, lad. He wants the babes round, but unfortunately, you're also an English footballer and you may be 18 years old, but you've got a lot of weight on your shoulders and responsibility. This is why I say Do I'm you, sort of in two minds. About yeah, the yeah, whole so thing. am I. Do you feel like you're still 20? Oh yeah. 
Mate, I'm, I'm getting 18. older, but I, yeah, I'm still <laughs> that age, i.e. I don't feel like I look my age. I don't feel like... I am, or act, or you, am. I'm still a kiddie, mate. Do you remember when yeah. we were like younger and be like, oh, oh, I'm I'm like with you on that. Do you remember when 100%. we were younger and be like, oh my god, 25, they're so old? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. We're, we're, tw- we're 24. We're ancient, mate. Janine just turned 25. She's well old, bruv. <laughs> She's going to be 30. Do you, oh, do you not get well God, scared oh, about God, that? Oh, God, oh, God. Oh. Yeah, mate, I'm massively. not going to lie. Like, no, I'm terrified, terrified, terrified. But you Absolutely know, like, terrified. when you're younger, like, oh yeah, I'm going to have like a kid when I'm like 26, I'm getting married. But this is why I I need to become a DJ. So you can yeah, live right. Young wait, forever. wait. Do you want to tell everyone about your That's new? Well, 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 I've been prospect the past two weeks. Desire. Uh, I've been learning to DJ, and it's been fucking amazing. Like, as in the feeling of doing the whole mixing, and when you do it, and you you do it, and you impress the people that are around, and they <laughs> love it, and just doing it for validation. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. I actually fucking love it because I've always liked yourself. doing house music. And actually <laughs> mixing ha- tracks that I like together and, and all of that, like, was the only time, and I say this, in the past two weeks that I've felt pure elation. Like, pure, like, I feel great. And also you're expressing your creativity. Yeah, because, you, yeah, and, and, it, and it felt good. And it really made me think, like, this is 100% something I want to pursue. And in an ideal world, do gigs and live shows. It w- Would you come to a f- yeah, we were, no, well, I don't know about that yet. That was never meant to be announced. Um, um, no, it doesn't beep that. Yeah, but beep that top beep. Yeah, yeah. Um, <coughs> but yeah, basically, I, I'm, I'm interested to know, would you guys come to an event that I performed? DJing. And what time, a night what out. time would you come out? Like 1am? Or whenever. I don't, I don't know. Really? I don't know. But as in. Anyone. We've heard some of the tunes that you've yeah, been Yeah, because I, I mean, it's pretty naughty tunes. Do you know what I mean? Pretty outrageous. Like, like proper, pretty, you know, like. Pretty, yeah. Do you know uh, what I mean, mate? Um, so yeah, it'd be dodgy. But that is something. That's a new skill. And I can't tell you, mate. The feeling you get from learning a new skill from scratch. Mm. And then you're like, I couldn't do it. It was really intimidating. And I didn't know how I'd get on. And then you can do it. When you get to that point, it took three days for me to sort of be like, I'm mm. solid in this now. And it feels yeah. fantastic. And it really made, and I did it basically, there was a small gathering, five people, um, having a few bevs and I was doing it. And I know it's literally five people, but that feeling. Hey! And those five people were rocking. Yeah, I mean, at first I fucked it as well. I really fucked it. Oh, I did no, rubbish. No, no, but when I had a couple of bevs, it made me better because I was like more relaxed. Oh, and then I just got into it and I was like pulling out the maddest things. And I was like, <laughs> never <laughs> say that. <laughs> <laughs> Do not. This is DJ language. No, 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 no. Maddest thing. I'm calling the maddest no, thing. No, 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 but I wanted to roll all mad. No, it was good. It was fantastic. Well, I could tell you've always wanted to do this when you're in the car turning the volume up like this. Yeah, how you always oh, was it on the drop? Oh, like, yeah. Do the little, like, yeah, no, but it is actually a bit like that. As in, maybe it was meant to be. Maybe you but that's what I'm saying. To so I'm, I'm going to tell you something weird now, right? There are two things that I've always had a feeling deep within <laughs> since about year five. Oh, I've always thought, and you'll actually vouch for this. I felt always felt like boxing was going to be coming to my life at some point and DJing. Have I always not mentioned DJ? I've always mentioned it. I've always mentioned it. I've always, always, mentioned, like, it. I've always yeah. mentioned it, right? I remember year five, because I got st- went boxing when I was year five, right? Because I was like, this is sick. And ever since I left that, I was like, I, I'm not done with this. I'm going to come back to it at some point. I don't know when. And DJing's been the other thing. And the fact that I'm now miraculously doing it and getting the hang of it and like, loving it, it's like, mate, that's the next thing. Until you said that, I never noticed the boxing until I remember you being the one that's always like punching people for no reason. You're like, <laughs> you, you, you know, like playful. Hey, you know, rough. no, like playful. Like you come up and like, hey, wait, wait, wait. Just playfully knocking you out. No, no. But you, you always like, you know, you're. Well, yeah, but it was touchy, just. Touchy. I, I just thought that, you know, on the whole like energy and spiritual thought sort of thing again, that I've always had a bit of an inkling that those things are going to be in my life. Could this at some point be, you know, how you've always been searching for what's next? Yeah, I'm going to be doing live shows, I think. That's what I want to do. And I'm shutting it down, shelling it I across can the country. I at 2am. You, DJ Booth. I'm joking. How, how, <laughs> wait, but how does... I'm joking, I'm, jo- I'm joking. He was directing towards a female. <laughs> That's what you're doing. Obviously. <laughs> That's your dream. I've just realised. Going, <laughs> going on tour, shagging someone at each different city... <laughs> that are at uni. No, oh, so you're at a uni uh, thing. It's of age, so you're guaranteed eighteen year olds. Guaranteed eighteen year olds. You get to do a nice set, 
watch people on their different substances lose their minds to your songs, and then pull one. I'm yeah. not a hoe. No, you're not. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> you, do, you do paint me out as this. Um, I mean... No, 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 no. No, I've actually had enough. Yeah. Because <laughs> when I meet uh, Waffling Mafia members, they are just like, oh, Joe, like, are you, you know, do you get about? And I tell them no, like it's all talk. It's a lie. I don't get about. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no, I don't. You're going on this tour to shag. <laughs> well, so you think I'm only learning to DJ so that I can pull games? That's a massive fact. Can you imagine? If it was considered like a loserish thing, would you be doing it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's for losers. It's a geeky thing. <laughs> it's rubbish. It's not very you good. You definitely did it one night and found like, oh, this is quite an easy way to pull birds. <laughs> No, no, I didn't. No, I do it because it's a nice, fun skill. I like making music. It's quite good. <laughs> it does you also come coincide the with fucking room, birds. mate. Yeah, like, do. imagine that, right? You're the one. So, so this, right? Laughing and DJing are quite similar. No, making, Stand up making people laugh, right? Because this, when I make you laugh, I'm producing a enjoyable feeling for you that you didn't make happen. Right? I've made, I've controlled you to produce this dopamine hit in your head that's made you laugh. Music, DJing, playing a tune that makes you gassed, yet it's the same sort of thing. So, Mika, and when someone makes you laugh, like when you make a girl laugh, that's the best way to get her to like you by making her laugh because you're tapping into that. Same with DJing, mate. When you play a tune that makes them. And as in you, boys or girls, just people. I love the way the, the example you chose was making a girl laugh compared to making them love music. <laughs> <laughs> that was the example you chose. No, but it's true. It's mental. Well, deep within the human skull, these things are true. I'm not a creep. But no, I'm not a creep. Hundred no, percent, we get you. Like when you watch, you, know, you know, when you watch like not Tomorrowland sets. Like when you go to a festival. It, how insane is it to be in the crowd and imagine being on the stage? Yeah, yeah. no. Like, I remember like being... The, at, everyone singing back to I you. I remember being at Glastonbury thinking, like, mate, imagine being up there get looking out to you? all of these people. That's one of my dreams, you know. Okay. I'll get you on stage, No, mate. no, a dream of mine is to sing to oh. a crowd, which could fuck it. You're going to sing? You can't sing. I know, that's my point, but the fact that I love it, people may get behind it. It may be <laughs> shit, and they'll sing along. Yeah, it's a possibility, maybe. People might get behind it. Now, guys, just interrupting with another commercial break. Loving the love from certain brands on this episode. But this is from AT&T, and they present RTX this year. Thanks to AT&T 5G, we are able to bring an awesome RTX straight to you in the comfort of your own home. AT&T's 5G network is fast, reliable, secure, and now available nationwide. I believe that's in America. Whether you're at home or on the go, you'll enjoy coverage in more places. Plus, AT&T doesn't make it complicated. 5G access is included in all consumer unlimited plans at no extra cost. Wow. Get in. Join us for RTX at home or virtual panels from your favorite shows and podcasts, a whole bunch of exclusive merch drops and more, all without putting on real pants. And our thanks to AT&T. For more information on AT&T 5G, visit att.com slash 5G. That is att.com slash 5G in the comments. No, in the description, you'll find the link. Let's continue. Now, this one did actually make my skin crawl. Like, turn off now if you're dodgy. As in, you... you well, sorry if you're dodgy, you stay... Okay, stay, stay on. on. Just stay on, <laughs> right? Dear Joe, Theo and Luke, I have a problem. I don't know how or why, but every time I have sex with my girlfriend, all I can smell is pure shit. And I think it's coming from my girlfriend's ass. <laughs> no, no, better no, stay with us, stay with us. Out of everyone, you're the worst person to read this because you oh, hate shit. No, no. This happened for the very first time about a month ago oh. when I smelt poo during sex. At first, I didn't know what the cause of this smell was, but thought it may just be an odd one-time thing. Unfortunately, I was very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since that one faithful night, every time my girlfriend and I have sex, I get a strong waft of shit. <laughs> and it is so off-putting and really throws me off trying to please her. Oh, this is so well written. 
A couple of weeks back, I decided to try and investigate where this stench was coming oh from. Oh my god! No, was he just no, going around sniffing out no, like a dog? And no. I had a sneaking suspicion it was my girlfriend's ass. So as to, oh god! So as <laughs> as discreetly as possible, I tried to get closer. We started doing 69ers, and it became very apparent <laughs> that the st- <laughs> that the stench and st- that the stench was coming from her butt. I don't know what to do. Every time we fuck, her arse stinks. I don't know how to bring it up without offending her. Please, can you help and maybe offer a way I could tell her to fix this without offending her? We've only been going out for three months, so it's still pretty fresh, unlike her arse. (laughs) (laughs) Therefore, a tricky subject to approach. Oh, my God. Cheers. How how has he done 69 as an experiment? I mean, thanks for that email, because that that is amazing. Wait, surely she's like, she just cannot be wiping properly. (laughs) She She can't be wiping properly. Have you ever experienced this? No. I haven't. I don't think I ever have. I've never even had a you know an uh, an anal issue so to speak where you come out with maybe a, a brown mark or <laughs> a brown mark I, I've heard stories I've, Wait, I, she... I've got one which I can tell but I feel like well no, it's got no, some no, no, yeah, I, 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 I know one as well surely she needs to start using baby wipes that's my first <sighs> so this <laughs> uh, I I you, you hear about the doggy position right and it's good mm-hmm. but do you not Frequently, <laughs> when you uh, have got a girl in this position, you sometimes can, uh, you recept this uh, smell from an so area. You smell? I feel like I've experienced what this guy is saying 100%. Really? 100%. I would, I would not be able to continue. <laughs> Genuinely. It would what, was your, what did you do? I couldn't work out what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like him. What was if it was you? No, it wasn't me. <laughs> it could what do you mean? Fuck you, I've not got my ass bent over, mate. <laughs> Fuck me. No, mate. Wait. I feel like it was the girl. Did you oh, just, did just, you just soldier no, on? No, I, I changed position. Did it remain? Because, but they, I'm not going to lie, it's put, it has put me off the doggy position a bit. Like, it has, mate. It has. But that I on paper, I think it's really good, i.e. I love it. But I'm now worried, what if I smell it again? How long ago was this? Oh, well, yeah, ages ago. Maybe it's because it's after a night out and... They've been sweating. They've been dancing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, after a night out, it's always, like, sketchy. But, I mean, to <sighs> be honest, I've never been in a situation where I've had to, you know, deal with the smell, smell of... shit. Because no, 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 to no, me, no, that, no, that no, seems... No. That's just unhygienic. No, yeah. That's not smelling a sweat. It's so, if oh, if you take a bird no, back after fine. a night out and you're like, oh, it smells a sweat, it's like, well, obviously. Well, like, yeah. you've been dancing in a friend. nightclub all night. I know a solution. Go on, mate. They should try having sex in or after the shower. What, so well, yeah, but as in it's not always possible. Well, this is the experiment he has to do. Yeah, and you can't just be like, can you shower? Can for you me? shower? I mean, no, you what? could make love in the shower. Yeah, but or when you could initiate it after you've showered. Like, it's entirely possible. He did sixty nine in an experiment. Yeah, but it's his girlfriend. Yeah, it's so when she gets out of the shower, initiate. Yeah, but it's not always the girlfriend. Oh, what well, is? Not every lad gets with people that are his girlfriend. You know, this. Particularly a guy who wants to help. He does, but so do I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. But, <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, so do you rarely do doggy? No, I do. Just but I just... Hold, a little bit scared. Hold my breath. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, gosh. You, you also would never uh, enter the other hole. I would never you? do... Uh, you no, have, I swear you actually have nev- like a legit phobia of poo or something. Yeah, you? well, you just... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I really tried to... This is where it is dodgy, right? Because think about this. They say with sex, you were meant to treat one another like humans. But if you try and humanify each other too much, it actually gets gross. Like, if you think you're having sex with this carcass that is full of guts and blood and shit wait, 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 and whoa, 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 whoa. sick in the stomach, there's sick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Think oh, that, no, no, when no, you, no, when no, you no, think no, about no, that, no, it's no, blood. No, 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 that's what they mean. A carcass is a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean, though? Like, a, a this thing is full of guts an animal. and blood. Yeah, but when they're saying Like, pumping around the body. Like, when you think of you shit... And when you put in the ass. You're putting it's, it into the poo. It's gross. Like it's, and I, if I can't think about the human side of things too much, mate. 
I have to just go to what a place. What do you do? <laughs> it's I, sex like an It's always... spiritual for me. We're not humans. <laughs> wait, we are wait, just extreme. So it's sex for you, just like this massive ordeal. You have to go. What? You have to go to like another dimension to have sex. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait. No. Are you like... Well, I got problems. I think that's what used to used to um, <laughs> contribute to like like the performance anxiety of things. I'd overthink what the whole thing so much. I'd think like, what is what even is this? Why are we, <laughs> what are we humans? humans? This Why part? do we do this? What is this movement? Why putting my object inside? Do you know what I mean? It's fucking my mind blowing. What the fuck? It's mind blowing, mate. If you really start thinking about these things, it it, it can send you to a. Uh, a dodgy place. This is where being such a imaginative, creative <laughs> creature is actually quite hard. I almost prefer to be a bit simple-minded. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I, I prefer it sometimes, mate. I would arguably say that more intelligent I'd people... I'd rather be a fucking dum-dum. No, we I'd need to... Well, that's both turned off. Both one turned second, off. one second. So what were we just on? What well, I, could, I would argue that more intelligent people would realise it's just sex and don't overthink it. Well, yeah. Um, but also, furthermore... If you are a very, very creative, uh, imaginative individual and you can't constantly just suppress things and your feelings do sometimes run away with you, it can lead to you overthinking these things. That, so that's all I I'm saying. What, have you ever taken like mushrooms? No. <laughs> that would be fucking interesting. I'd go, right, mate. Well, you think, would. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, think what I'm like if I have some marijuana, mate. Do you know what I mean? Like, I come out with a lot of shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, we should go to Amsterdam and do a marijuana waffling special. I'm down. The shit I'd come out with, bruv. It would be a special one. Well, bro. Keen, what we say in 30k likes. We'll do it. 30,000 likes Christ. right now. Should have said that. And we will go to Amsterdam, hopefully, when we're, if we're allowed, and we will film a, uh, a mushrooms slash. Uh, marijuana special. <laughs> and if we don't get it, we'll just do it in the UK. What? Is it legal to do that? Oh, no. I don't know. Anyways, but um, do it anyway, because we do what we want. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's illegal. Yeah. Um, what else was there? I had one more question. Oh, it's a bit sex-based, though. That's all right. <sighs> yeah. Don't all right. for that. And we, we've, <clears throat> we've mixed it up today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go with this question, because it was a good one. So listen to this, guys. My girlfriend is currently having problems with her vagina when we have sex. It has been going on for about a year now, <laughs> and she says it hurts her and is extremely painful. Um, just going to cut to the end of this. My problem is we rarely have sex anymore, maybe once or twice uh, a month. A month? Maybe once every one or two months. What, every Even less. Yeah, so once every like two months. Since this has been happening, I found myself masturbating a lot more than usual. Basically, I'm going to interject. He's got welleritis. <laughs> this is what this guy has got. Let me finish. Right. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba. And it's getting to the point where I'm masturbating every day, sometimes twice a day. I don't watch porn. I usually use Instagram for soft porn, which oh. I find a lot more stimulating for me. Which is very well. The prop. Well. That's what I fell into, mate, because I'm not watching porn. I'm just looking at Instagram. Barbara the back. That is very bad for you as well. Let me finish. The problem <laughs> now is that I actively search for what my next is going to be over. So what's he doing? Like to scrolling through pages, saving it? I think he is. Add into the to archive. the point where when I see my girlfriend naked or when she's trying to be seductive, I literally don't get turned on at all. Even when I'm touching her. I don't get turned on in the slightest. It's worrying now because I find it really hard to fight the temptation to masturbate and it makes me feel shit afterwards, but I can't stop it. Oh what should God. I do? Post-nut syndrome as well. Basically, as basically, basically, basically. This is the problem that a lot of us millennials have, right? You look at that Instagram, All right? this content. You're looking at this. It's that phone once again, mate. Get rid of that and it will solve mm. so many of your problems. Because looking at this, seeing a girl see that. in half-naked underwear or whatever, constantly on a screen, we're not actually freaking designed to see that shit constantly every day. Boom, boom, boom. So it desensitizes you. You're only meant to see that stuff very, very rarely. And that's what then, when you do see it, you're freaking stimulated. But if you're getting that shit every day, it rewires your brain, mate. And the only way to get through this 
is to fucking put that phone down. Delete the app. Or unfollow those girls, or else it's just going to stick around. And it will stay over you your whole life. You'll be married with kids and all that, and you'll be sat there with it still freaking ruining you. You, Your girlfriend will feel shit because she feel like, she'll feel like she can't turn you on, and it will tear you apart, and you'll be very lonely. What, what we did say, because we discussed this question when we were sort of typing the podcast up, is yeah. that I feel like the problem is more than he just prefers wanking here because yeah. we, you and me, Theo, we've obviously had long-term girlfriends. And when you see your girlfriend naked now, instantly it's not like I've got a boner, like, wow, this is... You know, like when you see a girl for the mm. first time naked, because you become desensitised, right, to it, it's just it, the first thought is when they're naked is not sexual. No. However, <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's then being touched... <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. You don't. You don't get it a lot. Wait, what? So you rarely see her naked? Oh, every day. Oh, but, 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 do you, do you get, get a boner every time? Surely. Wait, you, <laughs> do you or do you not? Come on. Pretty much ninety percent of the time. Ninety percent of the time. Okay. What I was going to say <laughs> is because. So what you've said <laughs> is that you don't get bonus <laughs> over your bad. No, no God, have is, a mature that, chat here, mate. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. I know. You swear. You're not in the doghouse, it's fine. That is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is <laughs> you become, you become <laughs> so desensitised to like what you're seeing. <laughs> no, you do, mate. Yeah, yeah, no, that, yeah that okay, is you, a fact. Like, okay. You know when you see, like, I know you haven't seen many girls naked, but when you saw the first one Whoa. naked. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. Fuck's sake. Let's get it together, boys. We're having a good chat here. Come on. <laughs> when you see, like, a girl for the first time, i.e. these new Instagram birds that he's seeing. Carly Jenner. It, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, like, instant for him. <laughs> so, but if his girlfriend is making moves on him, and he's still not getting stimulated from that, then I, surely he's just it's not also, It's also even worse because it's happening once a month or twi- like once every two months because she Yeah, hurts. well, you should be fully reloaded so, Yeah, well. so when she's making moves, it means she's recovered from like, or is accepting that it's going to hurt. So it's, it should be a very special thing for him. Yeah. And he should take every moment that he no, gets. But, but this is what's fucking him more because he like, wants to be that guy that is like, oh, I appreciate you fucking go through this pain. He doesn't even want her to go through pain and she is getting it fixed apparently. But the, p- the fact of the matter is he can't even perform when it comes to it because he's n- he has that he's totally not interested. And I've had this, mate. When I'm freaking on my, you know, I don't do this anymore. But if I'm on a, a, a wanking spree for way too long, then I will then get into the real life situation and feel nothing. Nothing. It will be like, and I, but this is what happened when I was younger and I thought I must be homosexual. That's what I thought. I was like, why am I with this girl? And feeling nothing. It's because I've been cane in the old masturbation <laughs> over things on a freaking screen for ages, mate. You need to find a perfect balance. Part of the back, what you need to do realistically <laughs> is get rid. Needs to delete. For is this it, guy, needs to delete the app. I mean, obviously, uh, once in a blue moon, maybe self please yourself. <laughs> However, apart from that, mate. Oh, look, Kimberly Wyatt from the Pussycat Dolls has just put in a, a <laughs> little chat in the group chat. Name drop. <laughs> you know, um, so yeah, no, but basically, yeah, that's basically what, what this comes down to. But I really related to this guy, that's why I wanted to get it up. Yeah, we suggest delete that. Literally, get it up. Oh, that was a bit dodgy. Yeah. <laughs> um, is there any other things you wanted to say, Theo? Uh, I think we're all. I think that went well, boys. If, well, can I just say the football season? Yeah. Predictions on the football for the football this year? Well, I, was I can say. tell you my top five, six. If yeah, you really go on, quickly, guys. I know if some of you may not like football, but this is really key. I, re- I really think it's going to be Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, United, Arsenal, or Arsenal United. That was actually a very mature and realistic top six and then from you. I was expecting like Arsenal basically. maybe second or no, something. Uh, sixth place, I, I'm undecided. Underside, but the top five, I think it's going to be the standard top five with Arsenal back in there. Don't reckon Tottenham are going to slot in. Oh, they're shit. They are actual shit. But after watching the documentary, which I imagine we've I haven't watched watch. the last three, but from what we've seen so far, they're, they're, they're done out here. They can't buy a striker because everyone knows if you're going to sign for Spurs, you're going to be on the bench. They've just signed Gareth Bale, which is class. Yeah, that is what that we've is heard. That is class. Fair play evening. to them. They're constantly getting injuries. Their defence is shite. And they lost to fucking Everton. Who are looking on by the way? They've yeah, made fair some play to Everton. sick signings. Chelsea. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got the Didn't you say they were going to finish top last season? Top four, I said. And now you think they're going to be first. <laughs> right, so, so Chelsea FC Football Club. <clears throat> Brighton. Oh, Brighton and. 
No, so I think it's going to be Chelsea, Manchester City Football Club, Arsenal, Piss off. Man United, <laughs> Liverpool fifth. Wait, is it where Man City Actually, finishing? Do I not say Man City? <laughs> Liverpool. Man, oh, no, no, no. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Chelsea, who does I say second? Man right. City. Oh. Chelsea, Man City. Oh, right. Man United. What, what have you put Arsenal? This <laughs> <laughs> is a fucking idiot. <laughs> Arsenal. Wait, what, uh, Man United. Liverpool. So Liverpool. On a, on a level, Liverpool fifth. Luke, on a level, like Liverpool are actually like leaky fucked. tap, mate. They are leaky taps. Not only gonna... is you can't sign anyone because again they're going to be a bench player. Number two, you've conceded sixteen goals in the last nine games. Cheers, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> and if you're going to win a league, the average amount of goals you concede as a Title winner is 0.8. And in the last 30 games, Liverpool conceded 1.7. Fuck. Where have you learned this information? Listen to we did, we, we did win the league last season, though. Yeah, oh, you last have, season. Talking about history, are we? What what are we living in the, present, the last 30 games. I will say as well, it may not be the last 30 games, but either way, maybe last 16. I will say, when you win a league, you strengthen on top. Yeah. No, and, and Anyone do, can win a league, mate. It's about fucking retaining it. I do it. agree with you here. But Chelsea, I, your I, squad I, depth is not good enough. I am concerned at the lack of spending. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. And I don't think, know, like you're I all any, losers. <laughs> but are you, not, are you not worried that it's gone the other way and Chelsea yeah. has spent too much? No. Incorrect. No. This is what I like about game. Chelsea Football Club, yeah, mate. Yeah, but, okay, so I'm he, saying they've brought in loads of attackers, but attack wasn't a massive they're gonna issue. They're going to buy Thiago Silva, Ben Chilwell. Going to sign Mendy in goal. So you signed, what, a 37-year-old centre-back? Yeah, good for Fucking the, good 85 for the... on FIFA, mate. I don't know about <laughs> you, son. He's also 35, not 37. He's 35. He's well-seasoned. JT could slip in next to him, I reckon. He <laughs> did could. a good job at soccer, eh? You know what I mean? Did you watch it? I think no. Um, <laughs> I, I actually think, like, Chelsea FC, look, we're coming for it all, mate. But you didn't look... You didn't look like... I didn't, I didn't, even, Brighton. didn't even watch it. Um, what, what, so you're, you're two teams that you two, I couldn't you watch even... it because it's like it's watching your, your father and your mother go, <laughs> go at it, isn't it? You can't watch Brighton and Chelsea play against each other. Who do I want to win? I want them both to win. Wait, the way you described that... That's what it's like. ...was fucked. No. You said you can't watch them because they're going at it together. But it's okay when you watch Chelsea by themselves, a.k.a. your mum, and Brighton by yourself, a.k.a. your dad. What? Does that make sense? <laughs> that makes sense. When I don't he said going watch, at each I, other, he didn't mean shagging. He uh, meant like having to go at each other. Yeah, like, like I don't want to see them fight. Each other. Oh. I want to see them be friends, oh, but yeah, but okay. fight other people. So, um, yeah, I just can't really... I don't get any enjoyment from watching them go against each other. So, you know... So, I did watch it, or some of it. Okay. Um, I thought... <laughs> <laughs> I thought um, Brighton were actually looking sick. Yeah, we are sick, How do you mate. got a good new right back or something? Oh really? Um, <laughs> <laughs> the only I know it's peak. Like me and you have like very like similar like not really interested in football, but um, we are. Then, you're a football YouTuber, aren't you? You are a soccer football guy. Yeah, I've had to join a fantasy league this year. Oh no! Uh, with like a forfeit responsibility. So like, so, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but because there's a forfeit at the end, now I have to com- like I have to do this fantasy thing every what week. What is the forfeit? Uh, pay for a meal, like bottom oh. two pay for a meal, but it's YouTube lot. So it's like 10k. It's going to be like 30k. <laughs> Can't finish bomb two. <laughs> oh, shit. Why did I sign up? Why did you sign up? Who pressured you? Burnt Chip? Harry? Oh, definitely Burnt Chip. Yeah, it would have been. But also, I quite enjoy it because it means I should actually get involved in football and like, know about it. Yeah. So it's sort of a good reason for me to yeah. get in it. Yeah, no, that no, is good. Who's going to get relegated? Uh, Fulham. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yes. West Brom are in the Premier? West Brom yeah. are in the Premier. <laughs> uh, Fulham, West Brom and Brighton. Why Brighton? We're sick, mate. We play some of the best football in the league. We do, though. What we did, all we didn't do last season is finish off. Is finish, finish score goals. goals. <laughs> we haven't signed a score well, do you? <laughs> all we did well, no. do last season is score goals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> beat, fucking beat Arsenal 2 1 away, though. Me and you were there. <laughs> we have a... No, we weren't. Yes, it was away at the Emirates. So for me, it's away. For you, it's at home. Oh. So we beat you at your fucking library. We won. <laughs> we we beat Liverpool and Chelsea. And Fulham. Where'd you finish? I don't know. You don't know where Arsenal finished last season? Eighth? Ninth? I think it was like eighth, yeah. Tenth? You're gross. You are quite gross. Um, your girlfriend's party you had recently. Hmm? <laughs> Before the sick, uh, new COVID rules came in. Yeah, on the 13th. So, um, did you give her special birthday hugs? 
Who the fuck was you commenting on the fucking Instagram? Oh, it was quite funny. It, it was, was a funny little From the Waffle podcast. So many other people saw that and decided to comment yeah. their own little versions of thing, guys, it. I don't know if you follow, follow us on Instagram or Twitter or whatever, but you never know which one of us are typing on behalf yeah. of the Waffling account. And sometimes they're like, oh, Joe, you're so funny writing this. <laughs> Just as Luke or, or vice versa. Like, yeah, it's quite funny. Um, but yeah, how was that? Did like, I don't know, was she, did she like it? Did she have a good party? Did yeah, you it was have a great party. Yeah. Great time. It was actually sick. Had a lot of fun. Ate too much though. Did it need a DJ? Uh, no. If don't, yeah, don't think we needed to attract any more attention. Yeah, but yeah. Well, this, this is the thing. Like, uh, can we have some more parties where they, you need a DJ, please? Uh, parties? What with six people? Obviously, six people. There's only six. I would like. Yeah, I'd friends. like to see you come at like you arrive at like two a.m. Set up the decks. You walk in. Yeah, I just think it'd be class, mate. It's such a sick vibe. Like, so we, all drop, how, we all how, drop at one. parties o'clock. always look sick. Oh, it's when, lit, mate. When, it's when lit. There's a, me, and a you dro- me and you drop at one. Joe comes on at two. Perfect timing. Yeah. If anyone needs a DJ, honestly, let me know. Like, I'm, I want to do, do it. Like, let me know. Like Berlin. What sort of music would you be up for? Drum and bass. This is very Berlin. <laughs> That's a bit heavy, isn't it? That's fine. But yeah, anyways, you lot. I'm what what are you saying? Is there anything else you want to say before we out this episode? Good, good to be back. If you've yeah. made it if you made it this far, please comment down below. I Joe, will... mate, all right, you are you're, you're so fit. <laughs> you are so fit. But, Theo, you're fitter. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Ooh, <sorry. laughs> uh, thank you guys for organising this podcast. What? Me and Luke? Yeah. Yeah, so we, me and Luke got together. Work. Basically, we were thinking, shit, last week went so fucking wrong. We need, to have a, we need to plan a little bit. So we sat down and sort of really thought about different topics that I've got written down here. And it's come together well. But yeah, it's been good to be back on the, on the horse. You know, this morning I really thought that maybe... <laughs> no, I really thought... Wait. Listen, right now, I literally thought that, oh, shit... I really don't want to let the boys down. Don't want to let everyone down. I'm going to fuck it. I'm going to fucking... going to fucking... Blah, 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 blah. I've been on some walks today. I think, yeah, it's been good overall. And I also think as well, what? if it did fuck it tonight, yeah. it's fucked forever. No, no, no. Well, you can't, <laughs> say, you can't bro, you, put that pressure bro, on You it. can't come here and say, Joe, no, but, there's uh, no pressure at all from us wait, boys, and then come out of something like that. Like, listen, <laughs> fucking because hell. Because then it would have been like a cycle of in your head. But because we've done so well tonight, I think it's given everyone a good confidence boost. I'm going to be fucked for next episode. <laughs> I think it was good that we had a successful... Yeah, I really liked your show. energy you gave off today. Really? Yeah, I felt the vibe. I felt your Aurora. Aurora, yeah. Aurora. No, because it was quite raw aura. Like, it was quite raw, do you know what I mean? It's yeah. just me, like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, and I've got that little twat behind you. Yeah, she is a twat. <laughs> Boy, is a twat. This would have been on the um, little intro bit, you know, that we put in the beginning. Yeah, can I make a... Garden kits. Wait, <laughs> please wait. buy the kit. <laughs> what, has no one bought one? Wait, we ha- yeah, how many have you sold of the garden kit? I don't kit? know, I need to no. find no. out. How many do you think? I'll reveal that in the next wait, episode. No, 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 no. Tell us, tell no, us, tell no, us. No, no. Wait, Theo, you told me when we were in the car the other day, I think it had been up, it had been up for like a week or so, <laughs> and you told me how many you had sold. How many, how many, how no, many? I, how, how many oh, do you reckon? Wait, Three. No, I only know... <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, hang on. Zero. <laughs> hang on. Oh, no, oh, no I, wait, 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 <laughs> shut up! <laughs> shut the fuck up! Wait, on three. wait. <laughs> that was three. No, that's not correct. That was the first. <laughs> that is not correct. That was the first day, which we didn't upload a video. So we could be up to five, we could be up to six. <laughs> that was only the first How day. many did you buy? Three. No. <laughs> you bought three? No, obviously I'm joking. No, but who, did Look, you know anyone that bought them? Yeah. Wait, that was like your who? YouTube. Like. Sorry, you, no, we sold like thousands. Your mum bought about 90. My mum bought five. <laughs> wait. <laughs> and can I just, oh, can I, wait, wait. What do you want? Look, it was the first day, it was just social media, it was no YouTube video. I'm going to ask for the numbers and I'll get an update for you next week. Okay. But as it stood, it was three. And did anyone you know buy one? Not personally, but someone tweeted me saying they did. Shout out. Jordan. Jordan. When do we get ours? Yeah, when do we get ours? Uh, I'm actually waiting on them. They meant to be coming this week. Are we getting like Martin and Weller? Yeah, can I have Weller 9 on want, the back? Do you actually want it? Yeah. Yes. I, 
Uh, oh, he's going to think of something uh, stupid. I thought, I thought oh, they no, were coming this week. No, because we have, <laughs> kit, we have Kit Locker underneath and then the number. I think they'll be wrong. Weller on the back and on the top. Just fucking getting well. Weller in there. Yeah, anyways. Um, yeah. As if you want to sell any more. <laughs> yeah, like so. Do, uh, sure, yeah, they are sick. Please go buy them. Kitlocker dot com slash garden fc. Yeah, we'll put them in the description. Uh, do you get fans come to games? Yeah, no, but like a lot. Uh, Peace Haven, we did one fifty. No, but people that wouldn't have known, like, because you know people come no. anyway. <laughs> as in people <laughs> that have claimed them all as your own. <laughs> yeah, there were people that were uh, going to go anyway. Is there any like Garden FC fans <laughs> from you? I don't think no, no. But we're a new club. <laughs> we're on a Sunday morning. We don't tweet out where we we do tweet. Yeah. Oh. You tweet <laughs> out loads. <laughs> I don't. Garden FC's Twitter account does. You share it. Hmm? Your account. Do I? I don't think I do. We need Waffling Mafia to go. Do you know what? Actually, I'll we... come. Oh, <laughs> you fired again. No, that's the great. Well, Luke did give me the idea. No, I'll come. No, I'm oh. trying to be really like Wait, no, jokingly no, the, arrogant the here, but you're not following the joke. So I'm saying if I come, then it will shut it down. But I'm being really arrogant. So you're meant to go, hi, hey, you <laughs> wanker. Wait, listen to Luke's idea. Oh, okay. All right, so Christmas time approaches. Get a cooks out. Garage FC. Is it Garage? Versus. Garden. Waffling Wanderers. Well, so we want to create a team, Waffling Wanderers. Or Waffling Athletic Football Club. We, we could do it at Waffling East Athletic WAFC. East Borough okay. said they would host it. Yeah, so we want to create a team, the Waffling Mafia boys, against this, like, garage boy. Um... So he's going to start selling lemonade from his garage <laughs> to fund these kits. Right, so if anyone wants to join our team, um, we want to make it. Oh, can you imagine? You and we're going to go to Kit Locker and get them to make our kits <laughs> and put them out of business. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, that that would be a banger. That could be my comeback game. What do you mean? Oh, what, you play and then I just injure you. I come back after three months, play against... Wall, uh, what are we called? Walla Wanderers. <laughs> 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 the Wallers. Wafflin Athletic Football Club. <laughs> Wait. Wafflin Club de Football. <laughs> <laughs> what was the old one? Wait, what were the old ones called? What? So, against. Went for their Twitter recently. <laughs> it's very sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it pure nonsense? Wait, we can't, so we can't Wait. include that name. De- we'll de- de- deactivate that. De- name. De- 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 <laughs> Why didn't you write? You no, write. Jack Cohen did. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. Well, the spelling's far too accurate to be Jack Cohen. It's not. It's not <laughs> Roger, is it? <sighs> it's fine. Just maybe go for it tonight and report it. <laughs> <laughs> she. No one's gonna find it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one watching. There's some photos on there as well. Photos of what? I got my knob out. Like really bad edit. But I got my knob out. That's my Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> if anyone's got Theo on Facebook, they actually can find your knob. No, Why I, dele- I, dele- knob I, dele- I deleted it. Dele- you deleted it. Yeah. Why? You still got it on your phone. No, I deleted off Facebook. Hundred <sighs> percent. It's got to the stage of the show only... where we're literally. At least it's a private not even Facebook. Acknowledging that we're recording. Private Facebook. Yeah, we're just having right. having private messages. This is how we actually talk. Right, anyways, yeah. Private. Now we can just chill because, like, at this point, we can <laughs> no stretch watching. it to two hours. <laughs> Hi guys, <laughs> you know, I'm up for doing like a high episode. A high episode, and what yeah. are you gonna do on it? I think I think if we were able to get to Dan, it would be classy. Dan Stanner. But if we just wear sunglasses, no one will know because obviously no one watches this. Oh, part, you're, so. you're on about here, doing it here. I'm 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 fine with that too because what they're gonna do arrest us for having nothing. <laughs> having nothing. <laughs> well, it's not gonna be on our Arrest possession, but absolutely nothing. <laughs> 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 for having nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all just like giggling. You're arrested for having nothing. Wait, the, 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 <laughs> the impulsive. <laughs> impulsive did it. We got, so we got We got up the levels. Yeah, but it's it's legal in. Cali, isn't it? <laughs> man, the episode. Oh man, <laughs> joking. You can get rocks of it. They look like really mm. shit, huh? This is the part of the episode where we oh. fuck ourselves. Yeah, I think this is the the part where. We wrap it up. No, no. Do we even need to wrap it up? It's because it's night time. I so prefer night time. We're recording we at night time now. Normally. Well, yeah, that's the thing. I think that's the difference. It's like you can let loose at night. Actually is. Like, there's no inhibitions. Well, my training is nine till we ten. touch one another. On Tuesdays. So if we did want to do it after or before with the evening team, have a few beveraginis. Or do Wednesdays. We could have beveraginis. No, definitely not Wednesdays. Why? Tuesdays. 
But I'll you're training you. nine till ten. Yeah, we'll just do it before. It's, it's a l- normally we're doing it during the daylight. It's a very long for me to come down three times a week. I've just realised. Did tell you to live down here. Well, so you've just bought a new house up there, and you're going to spend all your time down here. Yeah, literally. That's renting off my brother. You're renting off your brother. Yeah. Oh, I thought you bought a house. No, if I bought a house, oh, you'd know you're about renting. it. Renting. Well, that doesn't count. We're saving up with Janine. We're going <laughs> to buy oh, together. Fuck! I got excited. I thought you bought a house. You're renting. If I bought a house, if oh, you're fired, mate. So you're losing more money to rent. Oh, it's brothers' rates. Brothers' rates. What's that? How much is it a month? I can't reveal that. Can't you? No. Why? Isn't it like eight hundred pound a month. That sounds pretty. Uh, five five hundred pound. I reckon Luke's eight <laughs> eight eight hundred pound a month. That's yeah. a good deal. Fucking hot, mate. But living in London, it's what does it look like? Bargain. Wait, what does it look like? One bedroom flat, me and Janine. All right, let's wrap up, guys. Make sure you're listening to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, following us on Instagram. Yeah. At Waffling Podcast. Or is it the Waffling Podcast? <laughs> it's waf- at Waffling Podcast. At Waffling Podcast. Tw- and Twitter. And follow at, us on Twitter. At, it's at operated. Oh, sorry. It's operated by Luke. Entirely by Luke. Didn't so we actually. don't tweet. Thanks. So let yeah. So follow us on Twitter. Also, everyone buy my U twos <laughs> and garden shirts and garden football club shirts and tweet Spotify saying, "Give Waffling a deal." Yeah, sign the boys. Yeah, it's, tell Spotify to sign the Waffling boys like they've done Jack, mate, yeah. and Joe Rogan, and Joe Rogan. <laughs> and for now, <laughs> and Addison, Rogan. I will see you very soon. Bye. That was a bit bad. <laughs> Bye.